Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be checking out this website here called Wookly, okay? So this is an interesting website. Let's take a look and see whether you can really make 100 to $150 a day by just clicking through uh, different ads on this actual platform. Is this the real deal? Can you really make 100 to $150? Let's check this site out. Now at any time, if you wanna get my favorite strategy to get to five to 10,000 US dollars, 100% working from home, you can just click the link in the description box and I'll send you that training to your email for free, okay? So let's take a look at Workly. Um, now I've reviewed a lot of different websites, hundreds and hundreds of uh, these types of websites, right? And some are good, some are bad, and some are just straight up scams, okay? So let's take a look at this one. Um, the first thing I wanna say is is that for a platform that allows you to make money just by clicking through different ads, for them to say that you can make 100 to $150 a day, that is crazy, okay? Because with most ad platforms that are legit, there is no way that they can pay you that much money because the revenue model just doesn't allow that much to be paid out. Most of the time, it'll be somewhere around one to two dollars per day because for every ad you click, you're making usually a tenth of a cent. Okay, so let me say that again. It's a tenth of one cent usually for every click that you make. So for them to say that you can make 100 to $150 a day, that for me is a red flag for a website like this, okay? Now, um, I do wanna say that if you actually look through the website itself, it does say that in order for you to make money, you would you know you just register, you would log in, and there are a few different online tasks that they allow you to do. And if you actually log into Wookly, you'll see that the tasks are very strange. Okay, first of all, the, the English on the website isn't very good. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad website, but usually that's a red flag. If the English grammar is not very good, usually that's a red flag for me. Um, and if you actually go through the tasks, they say that you can make quite a lot of money. It's usually $6 up to $8 just for you clicking through. And if you actually log in and check it out, you'll see that it's very, very convoluted, okay? So you would click on a task and it'll bring you through a series of uh, websites that you just basically click on. You're, you're just mindlessly clicking, 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 clicking on ads. And then when you finish and you refresh your page, most of the time, it doesn't pay you the actual amount that it says that it's gonna pay you. So if it says it's $8, it doesn't actually pay you $8, all right? So for me, that's a red flag. Because if a website tells me that they're gonna make, I'm gonna make eight bucks for doing this task, and then I do it, and they don't pay me that, sometimes they only pay you like 20 cents, sometimes a dollar, right? Things like that. Um, that, to me, is a red flag, okay? Another thing is if you scroll all the way down, all right, and you actually click on some of these links, right? If, if, if this was a real website, um, this would be connected to Wookley's Facebook account, right? It, this would be connected to Twitter, this would could be connected to Instagram, and this would be LinkedIn. But if you click on these, it doesn't lead anywhere. It just kind of comes back to the main page, the login page here, all right? That, to me, is a red flag, okay? So I've been reviewing a lot of these types of websites. If the links don't work properly, most of the time, it's not a legit website. So this is a red flag already. I know it's a very simple thing, but it's actually a big deal, okay? Um, now, the other problem with this website is that when, um, when you're actually trying to withdraw your money, the threshold, the minimum threshold for you to withdraw money is $300, all right? That's really crazy because if you actually try to complete the tasks on this website, right, um, even if you're clicking through all the ads, sometimes they pay you, sometimes they don't, all right? And that's not real money. They're just showing you on the interface that amount changes but whether you can withdraw that out is something completely different. But just on the interface it's itself, for you to add up to, to $300 is gonna take you weeks and weeks and weeks. Most of the time, these types of platforms, if they're legit, the threshold is usually $10 or maybe $20. It's usually not more than that. For them to set it so high, that is a red flag for me because it, it shows that they don't really want people to withdraw. They want to keep it quite high so that you sort of play on that platform for a little while and you know maybe after a while you give up because you can't get to $300, all right? So it gives them more time for people to kind of come and try their, their website out, all right? So that for me is a, is a red flag already, okay? Now, what is the purpose of this website? Okay, because there's all sorts of red flags with the site. If, if they're not really paying people out, then what's the purpose of it? Well, I actually think that this is designed for the creators to make money. Because basically what happens is when you log in and you go through the tasks, right, you're told to click on ads. So I think that they are getting advertisers to pay them money to get clicks. 
but the clicks that they're getting aren't real because they're basically clicks from people like you and me. We're just going through the website, we're not really looking at the ads, we're just clicking it, right? So they get paid, the Wookly creators get paid, but you don't actually make any money, okay? And they're kind of, you know, in a way, um, scamming the advertisers that have paid them money to get these clicks because these clicks are you and me and we don't really care about these ads so they're extremely low quality, right? So that's kind of why these guys have built this site is to use people like you and me to click through the ads and then they get money from the advertisers who post the ads with them but they're low quality clicks and you know they're not actually paying us out any money which I think is is really really bad okay so I would just stay away from Wookly you know um, again too many red flags a, a website like this would never pay out this much of uh, this amount of money and the legit ones will never say that you can make a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a day they would just wouldn't they they would they would say how much they've paid out to all of their customers usually it's in the millions but usually a website like this if it's legit will only pay you out one or two dollars a day and that's for a few hours of work okay so let me give you an example this right here prize rebel is a legitimate website right if you take a look at it it's very simple they don't talk about how much money you can make per day because it's not really what they're trying to go after you know they just want to be able to offer you a service that's free um, you can make a little bit of money for clicking through for filling out offers for, for filling out surveys that is a legitimate website right here prize rebel this on the other hand um, to be honest I mean for me there's just too many red flags and I would just stay away from a website like this because you'll find that you're gonna spend a lot of time on the website you're not gonna get to a threshold of 300 and I would be surprised if you do reach 300 if you could even withdraw any money at all. Usually these types of websites, they just, um, they, drag, they drag it on and eventually there's so many complaints that they eventually get shut down. But they will last online for a long time, they'll fly under the radar, and unfortunately a lot of people will waste their time on websites like this and never actually get any results. So I would just be careful and, and just save your time and just stay away from Wookly, okay? Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review of Wookly. If you're here watching this video, you're probably looking for a way to maybe generate some income on the internet. Again, there's so many ways to do it. Uh, I've reviewed so many different business models, tried out so many different strategies, and my favorite way to get to five to 10,000 US dollars, if you have one to two hours a day, I would love to share that training with you. Uh, you can just register for it below. If you click the link in the description box, I'll send you that training directly to your email. Go ahead and check that out if you like, and I hope you enjoyed this review of Wookly. See you on another review. Take care.